All right, well, I'm rolling. Bop, 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 All right, let me record. I'll get right into it. <sighs> gotta be excited. You gotta be something that people like to see, right? For sure. So I'll be like, I always all welcome to my YouTube video. No. <clears throat> Yeah. All right, cool. Thir Come on, Thirst Mike. Ah, Thirst Mike. Thirst Mike. Thirst Mike. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Cringe. Um, all right. <laughs> this is all going to be in the video. It is Mike Power. What's going on guys, Mike Bauer here. We're here today in my home garage. I got Dylan behind the camera, super excited. <laughs> Hi Dylan. Yeah, he's our new addition to Power Raising. He's gonna be handling all our content for this year and hopefully years to come. And uh, I couldn't be any more stoked about it. So we just wanna get right down to business. And unfortunately the S15 stays in Maryland. It's winter, there's not so much we could do. So today we're here in my home garage and we're gonna show you our beautiful S13 that I used to drive. Uh, got my start in this car with drifting all the way up until 2019, my last season of Pro-Am competition where we unfortunately crashed it. And we're gonna bring it back to life. It's gonna be my secondary car. We're gonna use it for smaller competitions. We'll use it for uh, fun events, you know, demo car, and just all around practice and a good car to drive. So we're gonna get into that today. I'm gonna show you what it's looking like right now and what we have planned for it. It's, it sucks because I'm supposed to like cater to kids younger than me and like they're part of like trends and Fortnite. they know what's cool and like now I'm old, yeah, 25, but that's really old compared to like 18 year olds. It's not that old. Yeah, so when I try to do trendy things, they're like, <laughs> 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 All right, let's show you the car. Let's show you what it's looking like right now. It's about, I'd say maybe 45, 50% a car. we got a rolling chassis behind us. It's still beat up from the crash. So let's, let's look at it. So right now, uh, like I said, it's a roller. We got some leftover wheels from the season, just some stuff I had sitting around. Uh, the car is still sporting the old power racing livery on the side. Um, she's pretty straight from, I'd say, here back. Uh, unfortunately, we had a right front end collision with the wall, Kilcar, Ohio. I'll put the clip right now of me hitting that wall. But yeah, so she's a little banged up right now, but luckily when we transitioned from this car to the S15, uh, we only needed so much to go to the S15. So we still have wiring in this car. We still have a bunch of parts that we can use. Uh, so really excited about that. It kind of is helping me expedite the, you know, the process of getting this thing back together. But uh, yeah, let's show you like the side of the car. I'll show you the front. Let's look at the collision spot where you see all the bent up stuff. So, Right here, I don't know if you got a good spot of it, but right here you can see it's all crumpled in from that crash that you guys just saw. So not horrible. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that one's a little bit more straight. That one's a little crooked. Thank you for the uh, the visual effects, Dylan. Sure thing. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so she's a little bit bent in the front, but luckily at MA Motorsports, we're gonna go down there with this thing once we have a little bit more done to it. We're gonna chop off the front, do a similar setup like we have at the S15, new bash bars, stuff like that. Uh, removable front clip, just in case if we do this again, it'll be easier to replace. We don't have to do the whole process over again. So that's the main thing that we got going on right now uh, as far as fixing the chassis. Uh, the rest is just getting the um, old parts or new parts in there. Uh, we have fresh WiseFab uh, suspension on the car. We have fresh coilovers on the car. So a lot of stuff has already been done with it and luckily there's a lot of fabrication that we don't have to do to this since it was already a well-performing car. Um, I'll show you the inside. The inside's uh, pretty dark and disgusting, but still got these sweet windows that I like to run in the S15. But yeah, as you can see, uh, still got some wiring in there. <laughs> still, <laughs> it still looks kind of like a race car in there. It's missing some seats, some safety gear, you know, steering column, pretty much everything. <laughs> But yeah, so, yeah, duct tape holding the window in. You know, just the little things. It's the little, little, little touches that matter. But uh, yeah, so 
Another cool thing is it still has the rear mounted radiator back here. We never took that out. So it's pretty much plumbed and ready to go. Uh, just need a water pump and then we just got to hook up the lines to the engine. Uh, I could actually pull this trunk off in a second. We'll just speed this up so people don't have to like watch sure. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, sure thing, sure thing. Thanks. You can take it off in a second, so take, I take what off? You're taking it off in a second. You want me to take this off? Oh, oh you mean trunk. Yeah. So let's speed it up to a second. I don't know where to put this. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming to you. <laughs> So as you can see, my garage is, it's, I love this garage, I think it's awesome, but it, it does get a little cramped, a little easy. But we may do. Okay, so, when I hit the wall, if you could tell in that video, um, I hit the back of the car and that's why the front got pulled in. So this back corner is a little bit pushed, but this car was like all cut up for this rear um, fab setup that we got back here. So right away you can see our radiator that's plumbed, ready to go. Our fire suppression system is actually still plumbed in here, ready to go. And this is a brand new uh, FCST from Radium that we just threw in here in the old cell that it had. So fuel system's ready to go. I just need to bolt it down. And yeah, we need some new bash bars, you know, things like that. Um, <clears throat> let me catch my breath, oh my God. Talking so much. <laughs> So um, I would like to change this setup that we have going on here, something to more like similar to my S15, just cause it works so well. And I crash because I feel like the way that this is designed wasn't made perfectly for hitting the wall like that. Cause in that video, you can see I don't hit the wall that hard. Oh. And then the front just pulls in and it all goes to shit. <laughs> But um, yeah, so we'll make do with it. We'll just put some soft bash bars on it just in case we do end up doing the same thing. Could probably bop it, run the wall. But really cool that there's a lot of stuff in here that we already got to use. We've got a subframe in here already that's made for a quick change. So we have a spare quick change that we're gonna put in. I have another transmission we'll put in. So we have a lot of parts. It's just the tedious work of putting it all together, getting it ready. And I guess that's a pretty good segue into showing you the motor setup that we're doing. So, over here, ta-da! So this is going to be our engine package for this car. This is a one and a half JZ. So what that means is this is a one JZ head with a two JZ bottom. So this head was freshly rebuilt by FFE in uh, Deer Park. Uh, basically just replaced all the parts, made it stronger, new valve train, valve springs, retainers, shimless buckets just so we could rev this thing higher. We got some GSC S1 cams, really awesome stuff. Pretty similar setup to what I use in the S15, but in a 1JZ package. Then we have a totally stock uh, GTE 2JZ bottom end. Um, this is a similar setup to what we had in this car previously. Uh, didn't have a, have a built bottom end. We made probably like 720 horsepower. That's a little bit higher than I think we're gonna go with this for when this is up and running. Uh, unfortunately with this motor, I ended up damaging the crank on an accident. So instead of taking this engine apart to fix it and rebuild it, I rather take this engine apart and rebuild it with forged internals and have a spare short block, eventually a spare motor for the S15. So what we did was went on marketplace, bought one of these really hard to find, <laughs> um, brand new GTE, uh, two JZs from the Soyo factory. So this is actually the same exact setup as what you see right here. So I bought the same exact thing about two years ago to do this. And that's what this motor is. But unfortunately, damaged crank, I was saying, so I wanna use it for my spare motor. So we got this. So I have to take all of the stuff that's on here now and put it on this short block. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and get that done, uh, do a little time lapse, get that together, and then we'll take it from there. So let's do it.
no, my beard and mustache did not magically grow in two minutes. Uh, what happened was we needed some parts for this thing, so we had to get them ordered. They're here now, and we got our new engine block on the stand, ready to assemble as much as we can. And yeah, I'm excited. We should get right into it. But yeah, so luckily for you guys, the wonderful world of editing, you didn't have to wait at all for parts to show up, like me. Okay. But yeah, so what we're gonna do is, um, basically I'm not going to basically go over how to assemble all this stuff. I don't wanna be liable in case you mess up your motor. Just kidding, kinda not kidding. Um, I kinda just wanna go through it, do it myself. I know what I'm doing, for the most part, maybe. But we're gonna throw the pans on this, the oil pump, uh, I think the oil pump first, then the pans, get that all good to go. And then once the bottom of the engine is done, we're gonna flip her over and then start getting the head assembled, all that good stuff. And then we should be good to go for now. Uh, waiting on a couple more parts, like uh, our manifolds that we need. Just a little odds and ends here, but uh, before you know it, this thing will be ready to go in the car and I cannot wait. So let's get into it. So this is our assembled long block. I'm gonna save dressing it up with all the stuff that we have sitting on the shelves and parts because we are still waiting for a couple odds and ends here and there. So we're gonna save that for the next video and for when we have some more stuff going on with the actual chassis. So definitely stay tuned for the next video. If you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what you wanna see in the future. Also, if you really like what's going on, hit subscribe, keep in touch with your boy, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.